Oh. <clears throat> hey, my widow, Chris. So this is my everyday eye look that you can wear with any lip color. And I'm just going to sanitize my hands and get started. Oh, you know, we've been nerving down before. Nigga, when our pride was low, looking at the world like, where do we go? Nigga, and we hate poor, poor, when they kill us dead in the street for sure. Nigga, I'm at the preacher's door. My knees getting weak and my gun might blow, but we gon' be alright. Alright, and then from there, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with the Jordana Fabry Brow Pencil. I'm just gonna fill them in really lightly because I don't wanna change the shape too much. This is my everyday look, so just pretty simple. Just filling in the, them in to make sure that they're cleaned up. Then from there, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown, and I'll make sure to have everything down below for you creeps. And just fill it in basically to make sure I have some staying power. Oh Lord. Then from now I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize my lips. That's the OS balm and then the Vaseline balm is really good, girl. Them lips were crusty. Then I'm gonna clean up my brows with the LA um girl concealer. Really close to my skin tone just because I want to clean it up and not have nothing too dramatic. So I'm going to use this brush that I love to use from Royal Care Cosmetics and just blend it in. I always use this brush unless I'm using my fingers or can't find this brush and then that is the BH Cosmetics eyebrow setting gel I'm trying this out and it's pretty cool but I'm still not confident enough to use it by itself so I still use my model in a bottle and once this runs out I will try it by itself to see if it actually works so this is my good morning honeydew I believe I got it in my ipsy bag and I'm using it for a moisturizer because I will be wearing a really sheer look and I love it so far. So this is the Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I actually really do like this. I usually use the Urban Decay Primer Potion um, or anything I could grab but I really do like this Soft Ochre. I noticed I've been grabbing it a lot lately. Um, I think that it's really good. It helps to blend out everything and it does hold your makeup on all day and give you like a nice new canvas to work with. So then the next thing I'm going to be using is the color Hanky Panky from Colourpop. Just a really taupe color. Something pretty neutral. But still that pops out just a little bit. I can't be too, too neutral. So then I'm going to start using my fingers because it does work better when you're able to use your fingers with these colors. So this next color is to a T and it is the perfect transition shade and the brush that I'm using is the blending brush from the BH Cosmetics Rose Gold collection that they have and I really love this blending brush, it's definitely good. And I'm just doing it really light because again this is my everyday look so I want it to be seen but not too much. So then this is the color switch duo and I love it. You use it with your brushes and it will take the color off for you without having to change brushes for quick makeup application. So the next color that I'm using is banded and it is a reddish brown. And I'm being really free handed with this and just kind of all over because I just want a, you know, same this type of look. And just natural not too defined nowhere so this next color is mittens and I'm using this mostly in the outer part just to give a little definition it's a really dark ready brown color per se and I'm just using it mostly again in the outer corner and dragging it into the crease just a little bit not much So then the next thing I'm taking for a highlight color um, is from the Smoked 
palette by Urban Decay. Y'all, I got this on sale. Oh my gosh. Like, you will really love it. It came with the Perversion pencil, which is $20 by itself. And the palette, full palette with the pencil was $20. So, yeah, see it's the four stands that I'm there. So then I'm taking tape because I really don't feel like um, having to worry about messing up today. Not in the mood for that. Even though this is a basic eye look, I really cannot live without my winged eyeliner. Y'all know that. So, it's happening. And this is the Ink Lot 77. This is my first time using it. And I really love it. OMG. Really, really love it. Usually I use the Sephora Rio Nights, which I got on sale for like $5 when they had it on. But they discontinued it. I think they're redoing the formula. But I still use that one. I love that one as well. So either one of those will do for me. Now I'm taking the Sephora Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm just showing you what real nice looks like because that's my usual combination. And I'm just going over the line with the Sephora. I had to get off camera, baby. I was jacking it up. So now this color is I Heart This, and I'm just taking a little pointer brush and putting it in the inside of my eye to open it up. Another thing that I'm obsessed with. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face with Fix Plus before I start to apply everything else. And that is Professional by Benefit. Yeah. And I'm just putting it all over because baby, I have large pores. Oh my gosh. And then this is the NYX Photo Love and Primer. I believe it's supposed to be like a dupe for the Smashbox um, Photo Primer. And I really like it. I've been using it. And what was that on my hand? Like eyeliner? So this is a blending sponge from Real Techniques. You can find it at Walgreens. They have Real Techniques stuff now. And the foundation I'm using is a really sheer cover up by NYX. Um, Be Matte Not Flat. And I'm just putting it all over but I'm pretty much sponging it away because I don't want full coverage. Y'all know I'm not really a full coverage girl but you know just a little something to balance out the makeup so it's not like oh all this eye look and no foundation or nothing. So then I'm using the Matte Not Flat Powder, just to press it in, set it in, and then a translucent powder, baby, because I be greasy, y'all, like, I need all of this powder, every bit of it. And that one is by Ruby Kisses. And that fluffy brush is from Sonya Kashyyyk, ugh, I love it. The eyelashes were mink lashes that I got getting prepared right now while I'm doing everything else. And this is the NYX Illuminator. It's like a cream. I'll put which one it is below because they have two. And then I'm blending it out with the Sonya Cash Sheet brush that came in the All That Jazz set. It's a pretty cool set. I like it. It's really pretty. So I'm just blending it out. Now y'all know that I am addicted to highlighting. So I can go a bit overboard. Do not judge me. This is the Tantastic by Milani, which I think is the dupe for, can't remember. I'll have to put it down below. I think the, L the Lorac, yes, the Lorac, that's what it is. So I'm just highlighting. I love a glowy look, my favorite thing. This is a bronzer, a really cheap one. It has a little shimmer to it. I don't want to really sculpt out my face or anything. I'm just adding a little color back, you know, getting rid of that double chin. So yeah, I kind of rubbed it into my nose and then like had to go back and fix that. Ugh, the most. So this is a bronzer, a highlighter, little trio from Level 21 that I'm using. And now I'm putting on my lashes. My lashes are some mink lashes. I will put the link below for where you can purchase these. These are called flamboyant. They're really long, but very, very thin and wispy like. I just say it. So now I'm using the Benefits Their Real Mascara just to blend my lashes and those on top and bottom. I didn't use any liner. I just really kind of, yeah, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Stab myself in the eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So I didn't use any liner because, um, I don't know, I just kind of sometimes like the heavy top eye look with really nothing but mascara at the bottom. I don't know, it's just my thing. Now this is the no bleeding pencil that I got from Sephora. You can find this right by the register. Just a quick little fix to put on that. So let's try out this ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid in Retro Coral. This color is really pretty, but this one does tend to be a little streaky because it's a lighter color. So you have to go over it and you know be really careful, but it is a very beautiful color. I love it. I'll be wearing it a lot, I know. Now this here, oh, this American doll, you know I love red lipstick, can't live without it, and it's just the perfect red, the perfect red, at least for me. So I'm going to take the Lime Crime Wicked and just put it in the corners, just because I just want to kind of deepen it up a little bit on the outside. Not really using Lime Crime too much these days, so yeah, just trying to get finished using what I got already. And then I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with concealer. Not too much. I mean, uh, I don't really trip on the super crisp lip deal. So that is Fix Plus in combination with Urban Decay D Slick. That stuff is awesome. Sad. <laughs> and yeah, so we just going to mess this hair up. And ask me what I'm doing today. Yeah, probably nothing. Just wanted to be cute and all that. So yes, you guys, it was so wonderful seeing you all again. I am back. Yeah, all of that. So yes, please don't forget to check out my last video on how I store my ColourPop cosmetics, eyeshadows, and things of that sort. And yes, give you a little face and all that. And yes, thumbs up if you like this video. And yeah, comment below what you want to see from you. Blah, blah, blah from me. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Ooh, ooh, bye.